hello everyone here i am going to discuss the question whatever came in your exam exactly i hope this question came because these are the memory based question but still most of the students are telling me yes these are the question came ma'am and it is actually the previous year's question and this question we did in our class and that's why they are able to remember this question and i am going to tell you the answer of this question what will be the answer of this question you can match it and you can understand okay you are correct or not so one by one i am going to tell you whatever question was asked and even also after watching that if you can remember some question then you can tell me so here it was the first question matching question was there cdma gsma utms and wifi so here the answer will be this one because your cdma means this is accessing the multiple transmitter over a single channel gsm gsm is actually using the tdma and it is one type of cellular technology and here uh, fdma and tdma both actually so utms utms is this one because it's provide the mobile internet connection faster data transfer rate and wifi will be this one because it allows the network other device over the wireless channel so this question just two days back in our marathon networking marathon was going on we did this all question you can check the playlist in the rapid revision playlist just two days back i took a marathon class this all question done actually from this class only the all four question of networking came exactly same question and if you are new to this channel then definitely subscribe to the channel click the bell icon to get all the latest update and notification and to be connected with us because whatever we are doing here that is important for you those who are following me regularly their exam is good and they are very happy so that's why definitely you can also follow me regularly this was the next question that was this physical data link network and transport so here what will be the answer this answer will be option 3 because physical means this is transmitting the raw bit raw bit is the main uh, part of the physical layer then data link layer is working on frame that's why you can see its frame here after that network layer is working on subnetting that's why subnet transport layer is working on the datagram transmission and connection oriented and connection less that's why answer will be this one so option is this one now here was the mathematical question and it was math, uh, numerical question from the networking so for this question what will be the answer for this question actually the transmission delay if they ask this one in byte then the answer will not match if they asked in bit then the answer will match otherwise in the byte answer will not match so if it is asked in byte then we can challenge this question but i don't know exactly what was the question but if this is this one because previously previous years also this question was answer was wrong this answer is correct 12.5 the propagation delay will be correct but transmission delay will be wrong as per the byte if it is bit then it will be correct so answer will be normally answer will be this one because it is a partially correct answer 12.5 will be the correct answer for this this mtu question also we did in that class so mtu question this is also a previous years question and there was this three uh, option and from this option you have to do it so here how to do this question here tcp segment was given 1400 so maximum mtu was given here 800 that was 820 it was given to us so from here we can divide it into two part 800 is the data size 20 is the header size that was also mentioned in the question so that's why it will be 800 plus 600 so definitely one will be 800 size another will be 600 size so first fragment will be 820 second fragment will be 620 and that's why here your answer will be this one okay now the uh, so your answer is this one because first option will be correct but the second option is telling you when the second fragment lost then fragment identification number will be this one and fourth this one is telling you that analyzing the second fragmentation only actually whenever second fragment lost we need to send the total one it cannot identify ki which fragment lost 
so that's why these are wrong b and d will be wrong a and c will be correct if second packet lost then resend the entire tcp segment this is correct only so answer will be a and c another question was from this acid property it is also a previous year's question and it is a gate previous year's question which of the following is not a part of acid property so your answer will be deadlock freedom it is not the part because other options are coming in acid property atomicity consistency isolation these are coming d for durability but here deadlock was there so deadlock will be the answer next question was from this um, uh, this is the data structure question array question and this question i clearly discuss in data structure algorithm marathon there was data structure marathon and algorithm marathon was separate but in data structure marathon i discussed clearly but i think they change here x y z to a b c or some means number they change here alphabets they change here but question is as it is just you if you understand the concept then it will be very easy for you because here the actually x y z is mentioning you number of matrix number of row per matrix and number of column per matrix and this is the position that in which position you want to go p is the second matrix first row first column that is just i am taking an example through the example you can understand so from the basic from the base area if i want to traverse here then how i can calculate this address i can calculate with the base address i need to traverse completely two matrix that's why multiply into two in each and every matrix two rows and three columns are there that's why two multiply three whenever i am coming to this matrix then after that i have to traverse a complete row in that row how many columns are there three after that when i am reaching to that column then i have to traverse one more cell that's why one what are that this is p this is y this is z this is q this is z and this is r so that's why according to this one your answer will be second one but if they change it to pqr if they change this to pqr if they change it to x y z then according to that you have to answer but according to this your answer will be this one and this is the conceptually you have to do because here y z what is the y z value y z value is actually number y means number of row per matrix z means number of column per matrix so whatever number of row plus column you have to multiply and p means in which matrix you are going that is the value of p that's why it will be p then z multiply q means in each matrix how many columns are there that is your z multiply q means in which position you are going that is multiply q and then plus r so that's why your answer will be this one now another question was there from the semaphore it was asking a particular semaphore is 7 then 20p operations and x v operation x was not given to you as completed so what will be the new semaphore will be so how to do it just simply one your answer will be 18 because we can understand ki okay 7 minus uh, 20 will be minus 13 but i am getting here the final that that final is given 5 so from here as the final is given 5 so i can do it minus 13 plus x v is 5 so x v is 5 plus 13 so x will be 18 definitely x means how many signal was there that will be definitely 18 so that's why here your answer will be 18 another question was there from like this type of solution was given x plus y plus z equals to 29 and constant is this one so what will be the answer these are all memory based question guys whatever my students are telling according to that only i am trying to recognize maybe it was your question because we don't have the response sheet just we are trying to recognize it so maybe this will be the question question is as per this question your answer will be 2600 because in this way you can solve it x plus y plus z will be this so what will be the how many possibilities are there according to the possibility your answer will be 
next question was from dbms another one that is this one i think which of the following concurrency protocol ensure both conflict serializability and freedom free deadlock so it was a two phase locking two phase locking was there and time stamp protocol was there so only time stamp protocol is the answer here time stamp ordering because if the question is asking that ki ensure both conflict serializability and freedom free deadlock then only time stamp ordering is the answer so as per this option if it is like the option then your answer will be this one but option was what i don't know but answer will be time stamp only so that's why this is your answer and it is the explanation another question was i think like this type of question was there ki x is the multiple of 3 and x less or equals to 100 and this was multiple of 5 less or equals to 100 then find the value like this so it this type of one question was there so you your answer will be here 36 why the 36 is answer because you can take some example if i am taking the example that less 3 and x is less or equals to 100 so multiple of 3 these are the multiple of 3 if i am taking multiple of 5 then multiple of 5 but these are so here the total 33 here total is coming 20 now i need to do this one so if i am doing this one i am getting the intersection and after that total 36 is coming here so that's why your answer will be here 36 other than that your captcha captcha full form i don't know it was in paper 1 or paper 2 so many students are telling captcha full form so captcha full form is completely automated public turing test to tell computer and human apart that is the full form of the captcha so it was maybe there in your uh, question either in paper 1 or paper 2 and another question was there in comparison of a vl tree and red block tree where the rotation is more required like this type of question some students are telling so tree may cause because a vl tree may cause more rotation during the insertion and deletion so answer will be in that case a vl tree required more rotation it was true false or it was um, sentence uh, means it was i am not able to predict it but the answer should be a vl tree required more rotation so as per your question answer will be there and most of the students are telling there was a primitive sjf and answer will come 3.67 like that but they are not able to exactly tell that what will what was the data so as per their uh, feedback answer will be 3.67 but i am not sure about that and if you know more question if you know if you are able to recall more question Uh, so you can send me the question so that we i can discuss the question also this is my whatsapp number 8697365460 and even also if you are interested to join my pet course the pet course is going to start for the target december those who are following regularly me those who are doing regular classes because per day i am personally taking 3 to 4 hours class and i am cover i am covering all syllabus i am trying to give most of different different types of question all the concept so if you want to do if you are planning to do with me for target december then you can also whatsapp me in this number our course is going to start soon so you can get the details by whatsapp okay so thank you thanks for watching this video and you can count your score ki yes out of this question how many question you did correctly so how many question we discuss here this is avl tree 1 capture 2 this one is 3 and here this one is 4 this one 5 6 and 7 uh, 8 9 and 10 then 11 12 so total 12 question i discuss here out of this 12 question what is your score coming you can tell me and i will try to collect more question uh, from the memory best i i will upload that be connected stay tuned for more question thank you bye bye